Hi folks, it's Coach Mo, your kick-ass career coach. And don't you know what your bring your soul to work coach as well. So there's two. Why Mo? Why both? When you bring your soul to work, you can have a kick-ass career and love it and join the I Love Mondays uh, team that I'm forming. Uh, last week we had two women start their dream jobs and I am still super excited and, and so stoked for them because there is nothing better than making a contribution in the world and receiving value, money, compensation, income back for your contribution. Hello Marissa. There is nothing better than totally owning your career and your work and knowing that it lines up with who you are and what you want to do and hello Amy and there is nothing better as a coach than watching women do that I love it <laughs> I love it so this week's motivational Monday is all about what do you do now to get ready for your future and I'm taking this from a blog I wrote for the Hay House Heal Your Life website and the reason why is it's because it's a little how-to checklist. And so I have uh, 10 steps to a better future. Now, well, no, of course I want a better future, but what do I need to do now? And the answer is the same. Whether you're in my kick-ass course or whether you're kind of like wobbling around out there, kind of figuring out what's next for you, hi, Jean. What you want to do is this. Are you ready? Or should I wait? I think I might wait. What you want to do to get ready for your future, to make sure that your future is going to be as awesome as your imagination. Now, if your imagination is not awesome and you're thinking, well, my future, I don't know. I just got off the phone with a woman uh, on a clarity call and I love the calls. I love clarity calls. If you hadn't had one, book it now. It's, it's, it's your opportunity to spend time Focusing on you, focusing on you. And here's the thing, when you spend time focusing on you with either me or my career breakthrough strategist, you get the opportunity to really see what's going on. I have a woman I just talked to, she said, Mo, I can't do this for another 10 years. She's like, I wanna retire in 10 years and it's not looking good. So what's she doing? She's overthinking it. She's thinking, well, maybe Q1 of 2018, <sighs> maybe, I don't know. You know, she's the breadwinner in her house. And I say, if you're the breadwinner, you better freaking rock. Not only for you, but also if you're the breadwinner and you got kids or a partner, spouse at home, who are they looking to, to learn how to be a rock star? You. If you're not a rock star, you need to pay attention here because I'm going to help you be a rock star. And if you need help, which I did 17 years ago, I hired my first coach and I haven't looked back. As a matter of fact, I now have three coaches. I just hired a new one uh, who I went on a retreat with in May. Hey, Susan, nice to see you. My clarity call was awesome. Marissa, you rocked it and now you're totally rocking it in the kick-ass course. Where was I going? Um, <laughs> I forget. Okay, we're moving right along. So, um, 10 steps for your future. So here's number one, get clear about who you are and what you want. Yes, clear. Be able to think about the future in a way that is positive and, and, and empowering feeling. If you're thinking that your next 10 years of your life and your career is gonna be the exact same or that it's gonna be a remnant of something in the past, it's holding you back because that is not a nice feeling. It's not a nice feeling to think that your life is not going to be different and you're going to be stuck overworking, not having work-life balance. And if you think that your work-life balance is going to get worse as you move up the chain, that's on you. Because I'll tell you what, when you get clear about who you are and you get powerful, your work-life balance gets better when you move up. I don't know about your org chart at your work, but in my org charts at the work I always had, and Susan, you can testify to this, the higher I went up, the more people I had to basically tell what to do. And if I was taking on more work and taking on more responsibility, that was on me, not on the org chart. 
So if you want to be a VP and you're a director going, mm, I don't know, that VP role, it's going to make me work harder and I love going to my kids' baseball games and I don't know, you got to learn how to be powerful. And when you're a VP, you need to be powerful. So if you're not powerful now, that VP job is going to eat you alive or you'll never get it and you'll be basically pissed off that you never got the promotion because you didn't get clear for yourself. So I want you to get really clear about who you are and what you want. So write that down right now. Number two, get real with your current situation. Again, back to this woman I just talked to. She hasn't gotten a promotion in eight years. The company is going sideways to backwards. She's still wondering if she's in the right place. And I said to her, you know, with all due respect, mm, doesn't sound like it. Either you're not navigating that environment or the environment has been moving backwards and you've just kind of been trying to stay still. Either way, I got a little itch in my nose, not sure why. Either way, get clear on your current situation and stop playing games with yourself, hoping it's going to change. It's not. Whatever the situation is, however it looks right now, is what it is. And if it hasn't been looking good for several years, wake up. It's not going to get better. You have to get better. That's the key. Number three, make more money now. Yeah, find a way to make more money. Promotion, move up, sideways, lateral. Well, lateral doesn't technically get you more money, but maybe there's a lateral move that you can then have greater strategy about moving up. And you know what? Maybe you have to change companies. Most people can gain a 20% increase in their compensation by moving to a new company. And when you get that offer letter for that 20% increase and you're working with me, I'm going to help you negotiate that. We help negotiate salaries all the time when women gain their new jobs in my kick-ass course. Yeah, it's what we do. It's what I do. And it's what my mission in life is to help women who are not used to being in charge of their lives get in charge. Because when you get in charge of your life, you are the role model for everyone in your life. Everyone is going to see who you are and how you're different. Hey, Gigi, how are you? Back home now. All right, number four, change your perspective on success. That's right. Again, most women I talk to think that more success is going to equal harder working hours. And they don't want it because there's this story that they're telling themselves that it's going to equal less work-life balance. And I am here to say not true. It's up to you what your work-life balance is. No, Mo, you just don't understand. In my office, blah, blah, blah. Then change companies. Okay? It is a story that has been created by whom I don't know that you have to work more hours if you're going to get paid more. You can't possibly work double hours, but I have many women I've worked with who have doubled their income. Not by doubling their hours. We're not trading hours. If you're a professional woman, you're not trading your hours for money. So if you're a professional woman, hello, Julia. If you're a professional woman, you can increase your pay now. You can do it now. You can choose to have that power or not. So change your perspective on success. Change the stories you're telling yourself because what you're telling yourself about success is a story anyway. So why not tell yourself a story that is empowering and that feels exciting and inspiring? Why not tell yourself a story that that next role at that VP level is going to be a rock star role? So many women I work with say, well, no, I've never been a VP. Yeah, well, I was never a VP until I was one either. And you were a, never a whatever you are right now until you were one the first time anyway. There was a first time I was national director. There was a first time I was chief operating officer. There was a first time I was chief executive officer. All first times. Guess what? When you're awesome and you're ready, it's what you need. You need to be the first time of whatever in order to do it. That's kind of just the nature of it. Number five, you need to realize that your vibrational energy level, 
not your metabolism, but your vibrational happiness level. Whether you look at the world as a, an agreeable place or whether you look at it as a scary place, you've got to plan and intellectually organize how you vibrate on the scale of emotional vibration is going to determine not only your success, but also the money that you bring in. It's your sense of worth and worthiness. I want you to bring that vibration up. And how do you bring it up? Well, you can say things to yourself that will change how you think in the background because the entire day, even while you're sleeping, you have subconscious thoughts that are populating your energy. They are creating the vibrational level that you have as a person, as an energy being walking on this planet, you have an energy vibrational level that is created from your thoughts and your feelings. I always give everyone my replacement phrase. When you're thinking that person's greedy or being successful sucks because everyone who's successful is like evil, rather than thinking those thoughts, how about if you think everything always works out for me? How about if you think the more I want success, the easier it comes to me? How about thinking those thoughts? They feel good. They feel better. They raise your vibrational level. Create discipline for success is number six. Create a discipline for success. Every successful person has a morning ritual. Yep, it's what we do. We wake up in the morning, we drink water to rehydrate our body, we meditate, we journal, we exercise. We take care of our alignment first and foremost because we know as an energy being that your energy matters to how the rest of your day goes your physical align your your energetic alignment matters in the physical world so take care of it by having a ritual for success every successful person has that number seven invest in mentoring what you don't have someone who's been higher than you and you talk to on a regular basis find that person most women I talk to they're the smartest most paid person that they know please surround yourself with people who are more successful making more money and have done things been there more than you and I can humbly but in a bragging sort of empowered way say that all the women I coach I am helping them raise themselves to a higher level because I've been places they have not been I've been in boardrooms and at executive level conversations where people have not been who I'm coaching and I'm I'm able to help you see what your boss is thinking or what your boss's boss's boss is thinking and how they perceive the world so that you can navigate that when have you had a helpful hand to help you navigate the organization from up instead of trying to figure it out from down here and the rules are all something that you don't understand invest in mentoring and if invest in mentoring means hire a coach hire me because like I'm the best there is because I'm using law of attraction and energetic and consciousness science along with very practical things about how to navigate success interview techniques negotiating salary techniques uh, promotional conversations, you name it. I help on both practical and also energetic aspects. And we have a great team. We have a great team. Create a networking ritual. Ritual means it's repeated, ongoing, and has meaning. So create a networking ritual by reaching out to people you've worked with or worked for or who have worked for you. Always be reaching out and connecting with people. In my kick-ass course, I say every single week, make sure you have at least one lunch outside the office with someone who's going to move your career forward. Go ahead and put that in your to-do list for this week. Get that person on your calendar. Have lunch. Network. Make it happen. Your career is dependent on all of those people out there who you've worked with and who know you keeping them alive, keeping that vibrant, keeping it energized. You never know when that person's going to work somewhere else and they're going to be like, Hey Mo, 
Uh, we need someone who can do A, B, and C, and they're growing and they need someone at a higher level. You know anyone? Are you interested in that? Yeah, I'd love to interview for that. I'd love it. So, create a networking ritual. Don't just do it once. You're like, okay, I've networked. Uh-uh. Ongoing. Number nine, surround yourself with others who are successful. And underline that with more successful than you. On my website, uh, do I have it available right now? If you want to hit me up as a comment to this, um, we can send you my uh, How to Create a Strategic Advisory Council. Um, it's a really cool handout that I have with a little uh, instructional video. You need to have a strategic advisory council of people who you can rely on who are smarter than you, faster than you, uh, some people who are more creative or more disciplined or more whatever. You need people around you who are going to make you better. So surround yourself with people who are more successful than you. Be vigilant of your thoughts. Yeah, it matters. It, it's everything. Your thoughts are everything. Everything always works out for me is like the best thought you can ever have. And if you keep repeating it to yourself, it's going to play in the background. Everything always works out for me. So when this thing seems like it doesn't work out for me, it's actually working out for me. I just haven't seen the bigger plan. I just haven't lived through it enough to know that it's going to be freaking awesome. I've lost my job six times in my 30-year career. Six times. So far, that's the most of anyone I've had speaking to in a coaching call or a clarity call. Six times in my 30-year career. And each time I was devastated, I was punched in the gut, I was hit over the head, I was bloodied, I was bludgeoned, I didn't know what was going to happen next, I was confused, I was feeling lack of self-worth, all that. I picked myself up. I got myself dusted off and I moved forward, which is why I'm really good at what I do. Because I've been there. I'm not speaking from an ivory tower of, hey, you people who haven't been as successful as me, this is what you need to do. And my career was perfect. No, my career was far from perfect. I was very successful. I was at the highest levels, but it was because I made mistakes. I was kicked on my ass and I learned from it. I hired my first coach in the year 2000 when I was hitting a brick wall at my current role as a VP in a health system. Brick wall, boom, boom, boom. It was not pleasant. I was full of anger and frustration for, uh, to be honest with you, probably for years. But I finally hired my first coach and I've had at least one coach every year since then. So for 17 years, I've had a coach. I've had someone who sees the world a little bit differently than me, who can actually help me see how awesome I am and revel in that, who can help me see that these obstacles in front of me are for my growth and for my good and can help me navigate around them and see differently and reframe and all of that, all the things I do for my clients now. So, you want me to rattle off the 10? So here's your 10. Here's your 10 steps to a better future. Write them down. Take action on each one. Number one. Get clear on who you are and what you want. Okay, number one. Number two, get real with your current situation. Get real. Get real. Number three, make more money now. Mm -hmm. Yes, figure out that plan because that plan is going to help you. Making more money now is going to help you be more awesome because it's the tangible measurable. Number four, Change your perspective on success. Otherwise said, imagine more success for you. Imagine being at a higher, more productive, influential, more impact role. Number five, raise your energy vibrational level. Raise it. Go ahead and do it. Number six, create a discipline for success. What does that mean? It means so many things. Be awesome at what you're doing right now. Think differently, uh, start, start acting differently, create for yourself a discipline for success. Seven, invest in mentoring. Eight, create a networking ritual. Nine, surround yourself with others who are successful. And ten, be vigilant of your thoughts. Those are ten actionable, go out and do them steps to make your future better. I don't know about you, but this is like a motivational Monday with like, 
I don't know, a whole month's worth of stuff that you can get cracking at. And yes, I read them off of my iPad. I'm at thehealyourlife.com and you'll find this uh, blog. Uh, hey Tracy, can you post the link for the blog in this uh, comment section? I'd appreciate that. And uh, also, if you're ready for your clarity call, if you wanna make the end of 2017 a stellar kick-ass planning time so that 2018 is exactly the most awesome year you've ever had and we can make sure that 2017 closes out when you're feeling freaking awesome. Like I said earlier, two of our kick-ass course women started their dream jobs last week. I couldn't be, I'm like a, a proud mama, I couldn't be happier. And many women are interviewing and working on their dream jobs as well. While, while they are building their energy vibration, they're creating a ritual of success, they are networking, they're doing all the things that I talked about in this video and in my blog today. So go and do that for yourself. If you'd like help with it, of course, come call me. We'd love to have you in the kick-ass course. It is the time. It is your time. Have you been sitting on a career that hasn't been going in the direction you want it for way too long? Let's make it happen. Use all of these 10 rituals this week comment below how it's going ask me questions I am more than happy to answer your questions and dialogue with you hey if you're not in my career love Facebook group go pop over there hey Tracy you could send another link to folks I'm gonna be doing real coaching and I'm gonna be having my mindset coach who works with me in my kick-ass course Jean Callahan on with me in career love um, we're gonna reserve that Facebook group for that stuff. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. We're gonna talk about some of the things we see in the course and, um, and how to navigate things. So, we're gonna be spending time live and things are gonna be happening. Okay, so we'll see you next Monday for Motivational Monday and I'm gonna be out and about um, in the Career Love and here also. Um, have a glorious week and take these 10 steps. See you later. Awesome.